According to a testimony given by former Dulce New Mexico resident Darren Vigil Gray, it was in the late 1960s that this amazing incident took place on Highway 64 between Dulce and Lumberton. At that time, Darren was a fourth grader on the Hickory Apache Reservation. At around 6.30 that particular morning, he claims he saw a flying saucer on his way to a parochial school which was located in nearby Lumberton. A dirty, metallic-looking disc-shaped object, about 20 feet in diameter, suddenly appeared and passed over Highway 64, about 50 feet in the air over his school bus. There were, of course, other students in the bus. It created quite a commotion among the students in the bus, he said. It's a flying saucer, his brother exclaimed. But the priest who was driving the bus became quite agitated and was shaken up so much so that instead of stopping and investigating the phenomenon, stepped on the gas and sped all the way to the school in Lumberton. Darren said the disc-shaped object seemed to have come from the Archuleta Mesa and continued for several miles over the low hills and flew south of the highway. This experience really changed my whole scope, said Gray, who is now a well-known artist in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Among other students who were in the bus who also witnessed this incident was Edmund Gomez, one of the sons of Manuel Gomez, owner of the largest ranch in Dulce at that time. Even today, Edmund Gomez testifies to this unforgettable incident that took place over Highway 64 in Dulce, New Mexico. This was reported and published on April 5, 1996 in the Albuquerque Journal newspaper by reporter Tom Sharp.